Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank the entire team at Next Big Watt for giving us a chance to do this. Um, so I'm here to tell you, um, my name is Sahil Kinney. I'm the, one, of, one of the founders of Magnetworks and its CEO. Um, so I'm here to tell you a little bit about our company. Um, but let me start off first by telling you about where I come from. Um, I come from Mangalore, and uh, this is uh, my family business. This is a factory my dad built. Uh, it's a paint factory. We manufacture paints and alkyd resins for big companies like Axonobel, you know, the guys who make Duco, Dulux, and, and the like. <coughs> and uh, it's a small factory. I mean, it's, it's about six acres. It's got about 100 people. It's been in existence for about 25 years. And uh, the equipment is basic but functional, right? So the one on the right is called a sand mill. It takes pigment and grinds it to a really fine paste. And this is essentially a giant mixie. We call it a high-speed disperser, giant spindle, throw solvent, pigment, gum, spin it, you get paint. Right? Very, very, very simple, but it's not instrumented. Right? This is, um, <clears throat> my, my guys basically, basically uh, manually track when the machine was started, when the machine stopped, what to the batch size, what happened to the pigment, you know, uh, how fine is it ground, all of that. So that came back to bite us one day. I remember my dad left. I was about 10 years old. Uh, dad left on Monday morning. Uh, usually comes back around 8 o'clock. Didn't come back 8 o'clock. Didn't come back Tuesday morning. Didn't come back Tuesday night. Didn't he ended up coming back on Wednesday night. Comes back. His left arm has got minor burns. Not very severe. He's looking exhausted. And you know, I'm looking at my dad like he's some kind of hero because he's come back. And uh, basically what had happened was this is a resin reactor. Um, this is where we take the gum, it's called rosin, it comes from trees and naturally occurring extracts, put it in that resin reactor and then you heat it up with certain solvents like xylene, etc. and you get resin which is the gum for your paint. What had happened was during the trial runs, during commissioning, we had the temperature shot up because they added too much rosin. And then they panicked because they realized the temperature had shot up too late, then they brought the temperature down too fast. What happened was at the entrance of the resin reactor, it had, because it cooled too quickly, the resin jammed up again. Then the machine stopped working, so they heated it up again. Well, that was a very stupid thing to do because that started building pressure in the vessel. Uh, and because you know you have calcified deposits on on the on the outside. Very bad idea. So my dad actually had to punch through the entrance of the resin reactor to remove the scale, uh, the hardened material that had started. <coughs> and uh, after this kind of instrument, I mean after this kind of incident. What I realized was, this is what we needed. Uh, we needed systems that are built by people like Honeywell, ABB, Schneider. You know, but the problem is, <laughs> there's no chance in hell anybody with a turnover of under 100 crores can afford something like this. You want to instrument a factory with their systems, it's going to cost you 2 crores, 3 crores. I mean, uh, depending on what it is, we'll talk in detail later offline about how much these systems cost. But this is what they build, right? Uh, they build net, you know, systems to track how, what is the temperature, what is the pressure, and you can do it all in one machine somewhere in a factory. Um, coming back to a slightly different note, so th this was back then, and then I kind of neatly forgot about it. This was never something that kind of I, I didn't really deeply think about it since then for a while. Right? And uh, when I was bored on a job, I just put out a message in a bottle saying I want to work on some hardware project because I love hardware. I come from a factory background. I wanted to do real life things, right? So I put out a message in a bottle and then not really hoping for much and Ash Ashish Goel who is the founder of Urban Ladder and was my senior at McKinsey uh, replied with just those four words, you need Tushit Jain and boy did I need Tushit Jain, hey Tushit. <laughs> so I reached out to him and uh, I actually wanted to put like you know uh, Tom Hanks, I mean Tom Cruise saying you complete me but I thought that might be a bit cheesy. Uh, so uh, that's, that's really how we met and Tushit's got a background in wireless technology. Um, so we got to talking and we said, you know, wireless is really cheap, cloud is uh, on this thing. A lot of people are doing home automation, but let's not do that. I, I really wanted to do industrial automation. This is, I mean, that incident has, you know, was kind of burned in memory. And I really wanted to make affordable control systems for factories. So what do we do at Magnetworks? So the VC answer to that is we do industrial internet of things with big data and analytics on the cloud. But that's meaningless, okay? <laughs> This is what we do for our customers. 
we do production and process optimization. So to tell you how much you made, how well you made it, what was your uh, you know, defect rate, actual product, product, product and process control, opening and closing valves, switching motors on and off, process control, that's the first thing that we do. Second thing that we do, we do energy efficiency and not just energy monitoring, not just electricity metering, right? So that's what you think when you say energy efficiency. But you go deeper into that, you'll go power quality, harmonics, etc. Not just that, we do thermal energy efficiency. A lot of factories spend a lot of money heating stuff up, cooling stuff down. Boilers, chillers, HVAC systems. Uh, these are the places where we'll actually look at your fuel consumption and look at process parameters and tell you how to bring it down. So we do engineering for you, not just the technology. Right? And third is safety, health, and environment, which is a big uh, subject that big companies are willing to spend on. And what we would do is kind of monitoring of air emissions, effluent treatment plants, <clears throat> instrumenting that kind of stuff. How do we do it? So there are all these sensors. These are usually on machines. And the holy quintet we talk about is temperature, pressure, level, flow, energy. Okay? So what we do is there are sensors on these machines. We put our little box. This is our box. We call it the red box. Just like the black box is not black, our red box is not red. Right? <laughs> black box is orange, by the way, for reference. So it can be found easily. So this basically is a wireless RTU, a remote terminal unit. Right? So this is the wireless part. Here is a power supply. And it can take about two sensors for one box. It can take two sensors per box. So it's um, fully waterproof, dustproof. You, know, you can basically chuck it around, but I don't because it's like my baby. Uh, and uh, it's explosion proof, we're getting all the certifications for it. Now this stuff sends it directly to the cloud. Once it's on the cloud, the cool thing is with systems today, sensors are connected by wires. And all those wires, you know, they spent <laughs> lakhs and months of uh, labor to, uh, lakhs of uh, rupees and months of labor to wire all this stuff up, the entire factory, and then they go and connect it to one or two machines. So you want to know what's going on in um, pump number 64, like, yeah, sir, you please call Mr. Ravichandran in the plant maintenance department, you can, he will tell you. <laughs> What's the point of putting the system for 2-3 crores if I have to call Mr. Ravichandran? So, uh, then, from the cloud, you can access it from anywhere, but we also do this. Since you can't read it, let me tell you, real-time dashboards, we give you trend analysis, you can do all kinds of analytics in a full-fledged platform there. We give you control loops, switching things on and off, you know. Pump, uh, tank level has dropped below something, switch on pump X, that's a control loop. If this, then that. That happens very simply. Right? Um, we also give you SMS alerts and predictive maintenance. That's something I like talking about because we can, in some cases, tell you when your equipment is breaking down before it is broken down. For example, if a pump is vibrating differently than it usually does, that probably means that its air filter is choked. Right? I've told you about our hardware and I have a little time, so I'm going to skip through that. This is not our software. <laughs> this is Honeywell software. The one on the left, top there, is called Honeywell Experion. Widely considered to be one of the best SCADA systems, which is supervisory control and data acquisition, what Mr. Ravichandran uses. Uh, that is what he uses. I, 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 I can't do anything but scream, why God, why? why? Why are you looking at this? This is ours. You can't really see the graph, but it's simple. This, for example, is a scrubber monitoring system that we built for one of our customers. Tells you air flow rate, water flow rate, what pump is on, what pump is off. Really simple. Switch stuff on and off. Really, really easy to do. And whenever something happens that shouldn't happen, you'll get an alert on an SMS or, or a mobile. Uh, if you do want a demo, you know, uh, drop by my office, give me a call, or, or meet me after the, after the presentation. So in quick summary, why are we better? Right? Wires, no wires. Very, very simple. Doesn't cost half as much, even a tenth as much in terms of wiring. Um, it's, uh, it's quick to install and basically it's not disruptive at all. Second, hosting. I'm having some font issues which is why it's kind of rendered in courier sense but there you go. Um, basically it's a web application versus local services and some really, really shitty software on the left and some beautiful software with some lovely controls on the right. Uh, I'd be happy to talk to you about what kind of applications we could do, there anything from, I mean, you know, all of these three approaches. Uh, this is my team, uh, Tushit, who's right there, and uh, we have three very talented coders, and we fancy ourselves engineers, you know, we're not just technology guys, we do, uh, we are just as interested in 
process engineering of a boiler and the conversion of millibar to millimeter of water columns as we are in Django, Python, uh, and C and embedded code that we do in Quantic EOS. So we do all of that. Uh, so that's what we do. Uh, we're MagnetWorks. Please feel free to write to me. Thank you.